Wyoming isn't exactly known for large metropolitan areas, although we do have a few fairly good-sized cities and towns, complete with their own suburbs. The population of the top 10 cities in Wyoming range from 10,619, number 10 on the list, in Riverton up to Cheyenne, Wyoming's largest city. Now, that Cheyenne number doesn't even include the census-designated areas that are part of the Cheyenne metropolitan area, like Ranchettes, South Greeley, and Fox Farm College. So, if those are our large cities, what do the rest of our towns look like? Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. Today, I'm gonna share about the next 10 towns on the list, which are all right around or under 10,000 people. Let's talk a little bit about Cody, which sits right at number 11 on the list of largest towns in Wyoming. Cody has a population of just over 10,000 people. Cody is a tourist destination in Wyoming in its own right, as a common stopping point for those on their way to Yellowstone National Park, because it is located about an hour from the east gate of the park. You should know though that Cody has so much more to offer than just its proximity to Yellowstone. Situated right along the Shoshone River, Cody has access to fishing and boating, plus it sits between the Beartooth and Absaroka Mountains. There are so many outdoor activities to enjoy. Cody also has nightly rodeos during the summer, one of the best downtowns to stroll through, museums, historical sites, and so much more. Yes, these make Cody a great place to visit. It is also a great option as a place to live. Cody is listed among the top five safest cities in Wyoming, list at number three. What about housing costs? The median home price in Cody, Wyoming is right around 450,000, which is about 13% higher than the national average. Median household income in Cody, Wyoming is 59,600, which is a little lower than the national average. All things considered, it might cost you a bit more to live in Cody. Next up is Rollins with 8,382 people calling it home. Rollins is located in South Central Wyoming on Interstate 80, which runs east and west through the southern part of the state. Rollins is about 150 miles west of the state capital in Cheyenne and is about halfway between the Utah and Nebraska borders. Like many other Wyoming cities, Rollins has access to hunting, fishing, and hiking. Rollins offers up some neat museums and historical sites, like the Wyoming Frontier Prison and the Carbon County Museum. If you are looking to buy a home in Rollins, you will find median housing prices around $190,000, which is lower than both the Wyoming median home cost and the U.S. median home cost. So the cost of housing is good. What about income? Median household income in Rollins, Wyoming is just over $69,000, which means overall Rollins could be a good choice, at least when it comes to income versus cost of housing. Then we have Lander, where I grew up, with 7,551 inhabitants. Lander is still a medium-sized town by Wyoming standards. Lander is located in central Wyoming along the Papoja River and is considered the gateway to the Wind River Mountains. It is a great location and has some amazing opportunities for outdoor activities. Lander is well known for rock climbing, hiking, fishing, and more. Lander is known as one of the best outdoor towns in America. People who live in Lander love the small town community and outdoor activities, as well as the beautiful views. If you want to live in Lander, you will need between $350,000 and $400,000 to buy a home. Housing in Lander has a higher average cost than the national average, but the median household income is a little bit lower than the national average. Lander's median annual household income is right around $65,000. Near Cody, but a few thousand short in population, is Powell, Wyoming, with 6,385 people. Powell, Wyoming is in the northwest part of Wyoming, a little further away from Yellowstone than Cody, but still close enough to be a stop along the way. Sitting between the Absaroka and the Bighorn Mountain Ranges, Powell offers great outdoor activities like many places in Wyoming. Powell is also home to a two-year college called Northwest Community College. Median home prices in Powell are around $370,000, which is higher than the national average. Once again, we need to look at median household income to get an idea of what living in Powell might be like. Median household income in Powell is just over $60,000, which is below the national median. Almost tied with Powell for population, but nearer to Casper in the east central part of the state, you will find Douglas, a smaller town with 6,330 people living there. Douglas is around 50 miles from Casper, so you're close enough to have great access to amenities of the larger city of Casper. South of town, you will find the Laramie Mountain Range, the Medicine Bow National Forest, and yes, the North Platte River runs through town. Just like many other Wyoming towns, there are plenty of outdoor activities available. In the summertime, Douglas hosts the Wyoming State Fair, which I grew up going to. According to safewise.com, Douglas is ranked the number one safest city in Wyoming. 
Median home prices in Douglas are around $290,000, which is lower than the national average. And the median household income is right around $71,000, which is a touch higher than the national median. So at least when it comes to housing costs, Douglas is a great choice if you're looking to move to a small town in Wyoming. A little further south and you have Torrington with 6,196 people. I'll be honest with you, I didn't think Torrington was that close to Douglas in population at all. Torrington, Wyoming is home to Eastern Wyoming Community College and yet another Wyoming city with the North Platte running through it. Torrington was a stop on the Oregon, Mormon and Texas cattle trails. There's so much history in the small town. In summary, Torrington has a small town charm, outdoor activities, and more. It looks like Torrington is a good choice for living in a small Wyoming town. Torrington is a little over an hour away from Cheyenne, Wyoming, but about 32 miles from Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Let's talk about housing costs. Median home price in Torrington is around $218,000. Sounds pretty good so far. What about the income? Median household income is right around 52,000, which is definitely lower than the national average. But then again, so is the housing cost, so it might balance each other out. Next up would be Ranchettes. But since it's kind of a suburb of Cheyenne, I'll simply mention that it has 6,179 people. And I'll move on to Warland, which is a town in its own right with a population of just 4,843 people. Warland, Wyoming is located in the northwest part of the state in the Bighorn Basin along the Bighorn River. You can check out the Painted Desert about 30 miles away for unique rock formations or enjoy the nearly 160 miles of off-highway trails and roads in and around Warland. A little different than some other areas in Wyoming, but still offers great outdoor activities and small town charm. The median home price in Warland is right around $217,000 with a median household income of just under 65,000. So pretty good ratio there overall. A lower cost of living than the Wyoming and the national average. Not sure if you've heard of Buffalo, Wyoming before, but to make it on this list, you know it has to be a smaller population than the other Buffalo you might know in New York. Buffalo, Wyoming is just south of Sheridan and has a population of 4,339 people. Yep, smaller than Buffalo, New York. <laughs> Buffalo is full of history and the great outdoors. Sitting almost exactly between two national treasures, Mount Rushmore and Yellowstone National Park, it is a great place to visit on your way or to stay and call home. Downtown Buffalo has several historic buildings, a great museum, and you can reach several Wyoming historical sites in a short drive from Buffalo. Nearby, you can find skiing, boating, hunting, fishing, and more. Median home price is right around 372,000, higher than the national average. So what about the income in Buffalo? Median household income in Buffalo is right around 58,000, which is lower than the national median. So at least cost of housing compared with income might not be as good as other small towns in Wyoming. But the nearby access to the Bighorn Mountains and all that surrounds Buffalo, it just might be worthwhile. Next up on the list by population are two more Cheyenne suburbs. Both of them are right around 4,300 in population, South Greeley and Fox Farm College. Then we have the city of Mills, Wyoming, adjacent to Casper. I'm sure some of the residents of all of these suburbs might not be happy with me simply listing them as suburbs. But although Mills is a city in its own right, it is also part of Casper, metropolitan area. So we will skim over it and the two Cheyenne suburbs and move on to the last couple of towns on my list. Wheatland, Wyoming, located in the southern part of Wyoming, about 70 miles north of our largest city of Cheyenne. 3,567 people call Wheatland home. Wheatland offers a great balance of a wide open spaces and small town appeal. But being near Cheyenne means you can easily take advantage of the amenities of a larger city if needed. Access to great outdoor activities, including the short 35 mile drive to Glendo State Park for boating and fishing. You also have easy access to history with the Laramie Peak Museum in Wheatland and nearby Fort Laramie National Historic Site in Guernsey State Park. The median home price in Wheatland is 235,000 with a median household income of around 60,000. So both are lower than the national median, but balance out for an overall low cost of living than Wyoming and the United States median. And finally, located in a slightly different part of the state, you will find Newcastle with 3,283,000 people that call it home. Newcastle is located in the northeastern border to South Dakota and on the edge of the Black Hills. You will definitely find all the outdoor activities you could possibly want. A small, friendly town with plenty of pride in their Western history and culture. Newcastle has a lot to offer. Median home prices in Newcastle are around 255,000 with a median income of around 68,000. Pretty good income to the cost of housing. The overall cost of living in Newcastle is lower than Wyoming and the US as well. There you have it. 
10 Wyoming cities under, well, almost under 10,000 people. I'm Alicia Collins and I want you to love where you live. My team and I love hearing from you and we can't wait to talk to you in the future. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.